Put the mouse on. Yeah. Is it that uh, extractor, extractor? This button is for manual packing. This button is for start cycle, stop cycle. This button is for the quill going all the way back. This is adjusting the torque of the motor. This is the programs. I don't know exactly, but we have it on number two. This is the time between packing. This is the coolant uh, switch. You can have it the coolant inside, outside and stop. This is start the spindle. This is oh sorry, this is stop the spindle, this is start the spindle, this is the emergency button. This is for uh, pressure, uh, the, the pressure of uh, pressure and speed of uh, of the quill. Uh, this is to set the starting point of the cycle, and this is for uh, getting back to the origin of the cycle. I'll I'll demonstrate that. We'll, we'll start drilling spindle on. You go to the position where you want to start. Then, this is very important, you push this maximum that way, this one maximum that way. And you have to do that every time you start. Then you press the start button and the quill starts to move. Then after the set time, the packing time, it moves backwards. We have set the quite at high speed. Now it's now it's packing. We set it at high speed, so everything goes a bit faster. If you want to go, if you want to pack one one time. You can push that bat button and it goes back, he packs one time. You want to go all the way back, you press this button, it goes all the way back. And stops. With this you can do it manually, you can also drill manually, but with this, but I don't think that's the idea. With this, you set the maximum depth. Here is a switch. If we reach that proximity switch, the machine goes back. We'll demonstrate. I'll demonstrate one more time. Start, set to the start position, very important, this and this back, back. start. With this button you slow down. speed and with 
and with this button you can set the torque and when the torque is reached this light lights up the bigger the drill the higher this setting needs to be there is some on one position one we have 700 rpms of the motor on setting two you have 1400 rpm of the motor and the rest I don't know you have to figure it out yourself oh here is some uh, Oh yeah, you, uh, you with, with E you have uh, swarf clearance on time and with D you have swarf clearance on torque of the uh, of that this button. Well, it's it's and the re it's very obvious for the rest. This machine is in fact exactly the same it's uh, in uh, German French and English so you must be able to understand very important for initial startup is that you have the hydraulic motor run the correct uh, way we'll put an arrow on it so you can see with this you can adjust the height with this you can tilt it you can tilt it like this or like this a couple of degrees digital readout table You can rotate it and I think that's about it.